Hi. Now, if you watch the first video for this question where I showed you how to do part one, we arrived at the radius r was equal to 4.86t plus 2.7 and all this was to the power of two thirds. Now for part two, how much air is in the balloon initially? So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll run through the work solution or you might like to just fast forward to check yours. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So, first of all then, how much air is in the balloon initially? Well, when it says initially, that's when T equals naught. And that will allow us, through this answer here, to work out what the radius is. And once we've got the radius, just substitute it into here, and we can get the initial volume. So, that's where we're going with this. Starting off then, by saying when t equals naught. When t equals naught, we therefore have the radius r, substituting it into here, is just going to be 2.7 to the power 2 thirds. So, doing this on your calculator, cube root of 2.7, then squaring your answer, gives you 1.9389, and so on, centimetres. So that's the initial radius. Now we turn to the volume of a sphere, which is given by 4 thirds pi r cubed. So therefore, the initial volume, just give a little intro there, and the initial volume must be equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius, which was 1.9389 and so on and that's cubed. And if you work that out, as an exact answer in terms of pi, you get 243 divided by 25 pi. And that would be measured in centimeter cubes. Now you can have that answer, or you could work this out as a decimal, in which case you'd get 30.536 and so on. And if we round that to say three significant figures, it's going to be 30.5 centimetre cubes to three significant figures, 3SF for short. Okay?